In today's video, I'm going to talk about the magnifier app that ships with the iPhone. Now, to find it, you can just do, go to the search bar and start typing in magnifier. Quickly comes up after I type in MAG, click on magnifier. And so this is a simple way to be able to look cl more closely at your coins. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time uh, talking about lighting in this video because lighting is a very complicated subject when it comes to photography and especially with coins. I'm sure there's a lot of YouTube videos about that subject. So anyways, I've got the back of this Mercury Dime in focus and I'm going to zoom in and try and see if it has fully split bands. Now, unfortunately it doesn't, because if it did, it would be worth a lot more money. So, if I want to take a picture of this coin, this little button down here at the bottom will allow you to quickly take pictures. By the way, there's a brightness control and there's a contrast control. If you want to change the brightness, you can just move that over. And if I want to take a picture, try and get it as steady as possible. So I just click the button and it takes a photo, not a good picture. So it's called multi-photo multi mode. So I wanna, if I want to take pictures of parts of the coin, I can easily do that. Just click on the plus button. It takes a picture, plus button. I think you get the idea. Now if you click this little gearbox at the lower left here, there are additional buttons you can enable or disable. I've disabled the flashlight because it didn't, didn't seem very useful. Uh, there's a focus lock here. And as you, can, you can see also there's a filters button, which is this one here to the second from the right. And this is the focus lock. Now, focus lock, I assume, just means that if you set the focus and then stop, and then move it around a little, it's not going to lose the focus. So I set the focus there. Take a picture. There you go. So I think you get the idea. Um, like I said, this is a very useful way to look at coins quickly. It's obviously not going to take the place of a expensive coin magnifier glass slash camera, but for what it's for what it does, it's very useful. Anyway, thanks for watching. As always, take care and goodbye.